Hello everyone, Dylan with Gamers Lane here, and today I got a whole lot of Alice Origin 3 packs, 72 in total I think. Let's see, it's a full pre-release kit. I don't actually remember the pack yet. But either way, it's a lot of packs. First off, we got the pre-release promo, Jaharazad. Looks like you actually get one of each, which is really nice. So one reflector frame, one resard, and one Arla. That's really cool. Don't think we've ever had anything like that before. Oh! Like your faint foil on both sides. That's really nice. That was unexpected. You want the extra mile there. All right. Vampire Staff. The King of Supremacy. We got Excel's Reconnaissance. Blood of the Makage. Arthur the Dead Lord of Vengeance. Wingman of Armala. Light Magic Stone. Butterfly Effect. And Sigurd the Covenant King. These are pretty cool. It's interesting that they just put reprints in the main set, which makes them legal, but I mean, we've seen weirder stuff. Ooh. Release. Alice's Castling. The Angel of Healing. Blue Illusionary Hero. Spirit of Calmness. Fire Magic Stone. Change the Heart. And Moan of the Dead. Heavenly Garden of Armala, Priestess of the Black City, Crystallization, <laughs> Fallen Angel Destroyer of Lucifer, Red Illusionary Hero, Spirit of Passion, Wind Magic Stone, Resistance of the Twelve Protective Deities, and Scheherazade's Heroic Epic. Well, we're getting some pretty good full arts and supers right now, that's for sure. Gloria's Round Table. Soulless Soldier, Refrain Summoning, The End of Friendship, Reign of the Girl with Nothing, Griffin Racing Cross Darkness, wow, Wind Magic Stone, Jabberwock, The Chaotic Disaster, and Ares. Oof, there's a lot of interesting stuff in these packs. A lot of implications in these reprints. Realm of the Dead, Vampire Staff, Blood of Makage, Morgana, hmm. Morning Angel. Ooh, that's a cool token. Percival the Flying Knight, that was a green Percival. And then we got Herald of the Winged Lord. Crime and Punishment, wow, these are a lot of really good cards coming back here. Resonance, Wounded Black Dragon, Archangel, and we got Black Silence Full Art, nice. 
takes the rare slot once again. Last set they were just non-rares. <clears throat> Interesting beast token. Guess we'll see what that's all about later. Grave robbers. Pat potential and convergence. Dignified seraph. Celestial winged seraph. Well, there we go. That's in the set. Heroic epic and release. Hey, I am very big fan of release coming back. As a sword art slash mage art is pretty good. Ooh, necromancy's back. <clears throat> Morning Angel, Between Passion and Calmness, and Spirit of Calmness. Guarding the Deep Blue, Reflect Summoning, Spirit of Passion, Residence of the Black City, Excel, the White Gale Eagle, and Yeshua, who? Roshia's Journey. Am I pronouncing that right? I'm probably not. Apollon. Yeah, I'm going to butcher a lot of these names, but that's fine. <clears throat> you all know what they are. Another one, and Laurier, the Twilight Witch. It's always different opening the packs when you don't know the cards inside. It's a very different feeling. Ooh, okay, so we got Frigg, Goddess of Abundance, and another Full Art release. That's actually like a second or third release Full Art second. Still pretty crazy. Got that Priestess of the Black City. Ooh, Cathedral of Armala. Net of the White Hill. Dignified Seraph. Snow White. Gusting Skies. That rare slot. And we got the Full Art Excel, the White Gale Eagle. Percy is back. Laurier and Resistance of the Twelve Protective Deities. <clears throat> I think we're starting to not see as many new cards, so we'll go a little bit faster. Oh, Magnus Angel. Last Sword. And Spirit of Calmness. Black Wizard, a Soul Hunt, Knight of Sacred, ooh, Sacred Beast of Artemis, and a End of Friendship Full Art. Oh, that one is one open. Give wings. All right, so we got an Aries and a Fuller Gusting Skies. Oh, grabbing the Moonlight Knights. All right. 
Butterfly effect in Night of the White Hill. Wings of the Archangel and Excel's Reconnaissance. I don't know what's going on with the zoom there. So everything's going out of focus. <laughs> the Cathedral again. Makage. Hmm. And Will O Wisp. Percival and Epic Story. Got a zombie token. And we got Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, and Priestess the Laxity. Clairvoyant Guide. I just swallowed my words there. And between passion and calmness, not bad. Still rares we haven't seen yet, apparently. Alright. Godspeed Archer and Full Art Alice Castling. I think we saw that one earlier. Morgana's looking really green there. Spirit of Passion. I don't know. The cardboard just looks a lot more green to me, but it might just be because Grim Cluster print was a lot different than this. Oh, a wall of ideas back. Kage and Artemis. Charlotte and Magnus Angel Flirt. The Virtuous Vampire and Refrain Summoning. Archangel Full Art. Very nice. A part of true power. And a full art girl with nothing. <clears throat> Still lots of packs to go through. Make sure not missing anything, so we got a Sherazon and Guardian of the Deep Blue full art. Ares and Godspeed Archer. Promising Warrior and Arthur. Mikage and Promising Warrior.
Willow Wisp and Soulless Soul Soldier. Mikage Rhea. Interesting. And for uh Ferocious Journey. Heavenly Flash and Give Wings. X Silence and Illusionary Dragon of Passion. Full art. Frig in the Heavenly Garden of Armala Full Art. Jabberwock. Butterfly effect for it. Sherazad and Blue Illusionary Hero for Lord. Percival and Wakening Winglord. A Michael and a Full Art Charlotte. Earthly Flash and Heroic Epic. Still coming across cards we haven't seen yet, but they're starting to become pretty rare. So we've got an Excel and a Full Art Rabbit and Moonlit Knights. Got another Change of Heart, or Change the Heart. And Realm of the Dead. God of Lighting, God of Light, I guess. Alright, that was uh, an interesting pack. Card quality feels better, but not quite as good as the Ghost in the Shell stuff, so I guess they printed them differently, or they just used different card stock. Got an Earthy Flash and a Gatekeeper Flirt. So I'm not really too sure there. I think the foiling is similar though. Might just be me. Might just be this specific pack as well. This specific kit that I'm opening. Frig and uh, Moria. That's kind of unfortunate. Considering that was in the last pack, but hey, is what it is. We got a Charlotte and Covenant King. Blow Wisp and Fuller Makage. So, not many packs left. Awakening of the Undead Lord and Reflex Summoning Fuller. Black Silence and Black Wizard.
Promising Warrior and Full Art Moon Black Dragon. Legionary Dragon of Passion, Full Art Lucifer. Hearts Core and a Godspeed Archer. Makage, Rhea, and Grieve Robbers. Alert. Last two packs. Resistance and Heavenly Flash. Heavenly Flash and Full Art Vampire Staff. Well, let's go through real quick and see what rares we got and what Full Arts. I think this was a pretty good kit overall. Definitely pretty happy with the diversity in the pulls. I think we actually probably got one of everything. Trying to think if there's a regalia that I missed. Yeah, I don't think we got Death Scythe actually now that I'm thinking about it, but we got pretty much everything else. So overall, pretty solid, pretty happy with the pulls there, and I'm really happy that the kit comes with all the different rulers because that means it's going to be a little bit easier for people to get all three. That's everything. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, uh, let me know if you don't like the video or if you did. Any feedback at all is appreciated, and have yourself a great day.